Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another modded Terraria video. Today, I'm gonna be showing off more mounts. Make sure to go check out our previous mount video. I went over a bunch of mounts from Vanilla, Thorium, Calamity, and there might be some smaller mods sprinkled in there. But today, we're checking out two mods here with a little sprinkle of Calamity, because Calamity had an update and added in some more mounts. And uh, you know, there's always more mount videos to make and we'll probably keep on making them as I try and cover a majority of the mounts from bigger and smaller mods. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and show off mounts from calamity boom calamity right here with these ones and then we got exodus and then we got a mod here called mechanical mounts but yeah let's go ahead let's get into our first three here from calamity we got the tundra leash onyx excavator key and gaze of a chrysanthemir chrysanthemir is that how you say that now if i did do any of these in a previous video for example i think i might have shown off the onyx excavator key a couple times then you probably saw it already but we're gonna test his speed and everything thing and uh i'll also in this video i'll give some redemption to most of the waterborne mobs mobs and some of the airborne mobs I, why do i keep saying mobs mounts because a lot of people got mad at me because the rules i had for the video did not allow for the shrimpy truffle to be dipped in water and fly oh well it's not my fault that the mount needs an advantage to be better than others like rattles magoo but let's go ahead and let's do it let's see how fast this thing goes I don't I already forgot the name of this thing. 33 is pretty fast. I think this is a pretty hard mode. I'm not sure though. This thing looks like it could do some damage though. It looks like it could do some damage. Just have a little jump animation. I don't know. For some reason I thought it was gonna roll up into a ball. It does go faster when you jump though. You hit that like brisk 43, even 44, somewhere in there. But yeah, not bad. Next up, of course, we got the Onyx Excavator. You can't even see my character. Is it always supposed to look like that? Whatever. Onyx Excavator. Damn, it's pretty fast. 41. You you probably hit a little 42 if you hit that little hop right there. But yeah, the main thing the Onyx Excavator does is is it excavates who would have thought all right let's go ahead let's excavate some stuff and uh you know see how this works how do i do this like this oh there we go beautiful i love this thing this thing is awesome all right so last but not least we're checking out the gaze of chrysanthemir which summons in a shadow dragon sweet this thing is really cool looking so let's put it to the test speed wise not bad 77 and then let's see flying speed we hit, we hit like a good 100 right there before we ran into a planetoid. Good 103. Okay, that's not bad. We could probably even hit higher. But 103, that is not bad at all. And this thing looks really, really cool. Moving on to the Exodus mod. And this is these four mounts we're going to go over. I guess just the mount in general, the theme of these four mounts. I kind of want it in Terraria. I feel like Terraria would benefit well if they had a horse mount. Look at this. Now they can do a little better on the, the leg sprites. They literally look like cotton swabs. And I don't get who was doing the animations and spriting and all of that. But this could use a little work. The legs are a little skinny. But I feel like Vanilla Terraria horse mounts at least like one or two. More mounts in general in Vanilla Terraria. I mean, I guess we are getting some more mounts. Shout out that Flamingo mount that uh, Senex spoiled. But yeah, this thing is not bad. We're getting a nice 40. This is the like earliest version of the saddle. It's just called saddle. And I'm assuming you probably craft most of these or some of these are drops uh, i don't know check out the exodus wiki that probably has all the information there oh shit <laughs> okay moving on to the next saddle the cavalry saddle summons a rideable armored horse mount metal armor provides four defense nice four defense is always good pretty much the same thing just armor on it yeah it's going 40 41 not bad it's still really cool we get defense now when we're on it as you can see we got a defense we get off we got four next up after that is the royal saddle pretty much the same exact thing just different colored armor and more defense maybe it'll go faster nope not at all and last but not least the damned saddle some is a rideable nightmare mount now the thing is i don't know if this is a horse it's a saddle so i i assumed it was a horse Oh, it's a horse. Oh, and it's a cool ass horse. Okay. This is giving me some uh, Shadow Mirror vibes. Is that what the name of the horse is in uh, Skyrim? This is dope. 61 miles per hour. Oh, we hit the finish really quickly. And I don't see a d defense change, but we do have a Inferno potion buffer on us. This one is cool looking. I like this one. It's probably my favorite horse. All right, we got our next couple of mounts here. I'm going to do them in groupings of like five or four. Uh, just so my inventory isn't filled. So let's start with the Gillybone. Jillybone. Someone say writable Gilly Dog. I'm assuming it's 
Gilly and not Jilly. I don't know. Jilly just sounds weird. Provides immunity to fall damage while mounted. Nice. And look at that. It's just, you're literally just riding around on like a dire wolf. My bad. Gilly dog. And uh, it goes pretty fast. 40 is going the same as the horses. And hopefully all the mounts aren't really copy and paste because that'd be kind of boring. Even making this one go on like 45 or making one of the horses go like 45 would have been cool. Uh, so hopefully they're not just copy and pasting AI or anything, you know, because I've heard some things about Exodus and uh, I know it's not the greatest mod ethically, but uh, you know, it's got some cool things here and there. It's the same thing with the mod that shall not be spoken. It's got some, it's not the greatest ethically, but there's a couple things in there that, you know, you can, you can see a shining light in the darkness. It's really hard. You got to squint a little bit, but it's there in these mods. Now I do want to say a lot of these sprites are actually pretty cool looking. What the hell is that? Yeah, let's move on to the next one. The rotted eye. These two are, we're going to do as a, as a duo, the rotted eye and the bloody parasite. So one summons a eater of souls mount and this one summons a Cremera mount. Let's do it. These things can actually fly, I believe for a very limited time, but let's go ahead. Let's test their speed to the best of our abilities. So let's just, let's just, let's get a little bit off the floor. Okay. It does not go that fast. It hits like 30 something. It, I don't know. It's very hard on the floor. It barely moves while we're in the air You know, it hits that like 40 something very, very interesting mount. Uh, I guess an early method of flight Let's go ahead. Let's let's try this out now and uh, let's see if this is the same thing. Yeah, this seems ex like copy paste It's all good. Whatever. It's fine. Like I said early game flight is not bad. You can fall really fast though Look at that. I can hit like 50 when I'm falling. All right next up We got the drippler mount from the uh, dripping flesh equipable whatever the hell you want to say first but we got the dripler mount here looking like this might be the exact same thing 20 miles per hour when it's on the floor yep and when we're flying you know we can hit really high oh this thing has like zero flight time oh wait no spoke too soon look how high it's flying now what the heck so yeah i, I don't know weird numbers you just gotta look at the miles per hour 27 looks solid there i don't know it seemed exactly the same as the other two we just tested but moving on to a mushroom theme thing you know how i like mushroom theme things strange fungus some say rideable anamura fungus is that how you say that? I don't know. This thing looks fast. Okay, I see you. 36 miles per hour. Whoa, this thing's got hops too. What the heck? But uh, does this have any special effects? It looks like it might give us a, a shine effect. And my bad if I miss any special effects that some of them have because, you know, it, it doesn't say it in the tooltip. So there's not really much information to work off of there and I might not notice it. Not bad, not bad. I like this one a lot. All right, we're going to do these last two as a duo because I believe everything else is hard mode stuff. I'm not sure on that. But let's go ahead. Let's start with the Delta Plane. Allows flight almost. This is straight up a glider and this is awesome as hell <laughs> i love the idea of this but uh the real question is how does it work you know without really flying anywhere we're getting a nice 16 miles per hour insanity but i think if we just jump off i think that's how we get our uh, flight time going it is time to jump let's see how far we glide i'm just holding the left left key s no that's not the left key a and we're hitting a nice 39 if you hit w you do a nice like stay still in that specific area you know like gliding pretty much i mean we're always gonna be gliding once if i hit uh the down key oh we just start going straight down damn okay i like it a lot though I, it's a very interesting idea in terraria and uh you know one of my favorite things in minecraft is that open was it open blocks glider you can get when you play with mods i just think gliders in video games are cool all right next up we have a, a fish a giant flying fish oh look at this so we're on the floor it just kind of flops around once if we're, we're actually in there well not not too great i mean 47 when we're ascending we're about just going to the right without falling Without falling, just going to the right like this. Very, very slow, like 12. Now, real question is, what if we dip it in water? All right, let's see what happens when we dip it in water. Does it get a little buff or anything? Nope. <laughs> Does it go faster? It looks like, honestly, we might be going slower in water. I can't tell. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting anything from this. All right, so these next set of mounts, I believe, are all hard mode. Like I said, I'm not sure. Check the wiki on that. You know, a lot of these are just really cool. It's also another reason why I put them together, because they all seem really cool. Starting with the Scorpio Stinger. Some is a rideable Scorpio mount. All melee attacks will inflict venom. That's, that's very cool. Cool. So while you're on top of it, you know, while you're attacking, you're inflicting venom. And it seems pretty fast. 45 miles per hour is great. I don't know if it can climb things. Oh, my God. Look at the jump. We hit like 72 with the jump. Next up, we got the speed. Spiked shell summons a rideable giant tortoise mount. Attackers also take damage, provides 18 defense. That's a lot of defense right there. And if we get attacked by something, they take damage, right? So let me summon something in here. Go ahead, summon in a zombie. Hey, come over here. 
we could just literally run into him and we make him kill himself <laughs> but the miles per hour 15 not looking too hot oh i did not expect that honestly i did not expect that 66 miles per hour this this is pretty dope when's if we summon something and then just jump on it i don't think that's gonna work is it because it might despawn if i go too high boom i don't know if that did more damage or not but it seemed cool all right moving on to the next one silk cocoon some incredible mothron sweet i moved this one back the dragon skull one because it just seems really cool uh and also the tortoise giant tortoise is not affected by water i tested it out it doesn't move faster than water sweet is mothron what did i expect not much other than mothron she actually moves really really fast on the floor what about while she's in there she moves a good like 40 something all right next up we got the obsidian eyes summons in a rideable obsidian salamander mount provides immunity to lava for a short time let's check it out this thing actually might be a pretty hard mode thing this this seems like a pretty hard mode thing it looks pretty cool though uh the eye looks kind of weird uh miles per hour we get a good like 40 41 we are finally checking out the dragon skull some say rideable bone dragon mount let's do it oh my god 105 miles per hour while i'm on the floor when's if i rise a little bit good 106 this thing is amazing this is a cool ass mount my favorite so far and last but not least for the exodus mod i feel like this video is really long already we got the christmas present summons a rideable sand tank mini mount this thing also very cool the only sad thing is i don't think it shoots i'm pressing a bunch of buttons i don't think it shoots there's no key bind to see if it shoots uh let's see how fast it goes it hits a nice 40 41 beautiful let's go ahead let's check out the mechanical mounts mod now because this thing adds in a good bit so we're gonna do a little speed turbo round all right all right so we're gonna start with the mechs i believe because this mod does add in mechs i have not checked out anything about this mod i wanted it to be a surprise to me and you so let's start with the steamy mount which is a steamy mech boom oh okay any attacks or anything no i'm not seeing any attacks we hit a nice what 25 which is not bad at all and it hits oh it can fly too very very cool okay i like this this is dope let's go ahead let's move on to the next one just mech a rideable mech that's all i said no steam or anything whoa this thing's got a wheel cool mech mount but yeah it hits a nice 41 miles per hour it's like a mine cart with a wheel <laughs> and then a jet on the back okay interesting next up is the turbo mech which is pretty much the same thing just faster and uh the wheel looks like a hexagon all right these next two mounts i don't even know if they're in the game or what like you know obtainable by non-cheaty means but we have the necro bible necro canto and a necro book and they're all really weird like look at this what is this 41 miles per hour uh we could fly and then this one same thing some very weird looking flight and then we got the last one here there's not even wings we just, there's a little like tail okay i i don't know what those are but you know they were in the mod so might as well show them off all right the next three we got the cave hog steam madness key and vortex hog don't know uh what these have in common oh it's a bike oh my god that's cool 103 miles per hour uh some of the sprites in this mod obviously not the prettiest not like i can do better but they're really cool mounts so i can look past the sprites because this is awesome all right next up we got the steam madness which oh my god what the hell i did not expect this can we get over this all right good how fast does this thing go good 25 oh did not mean to do that this is crazy though look you get some buffs here ammo reservation rage regen so you can attack from this thing it's really cool i kind of hope in the future these mechs to get like guns and stuff that'd be awesome all right now we're checking out the vortex hog which i expect to be an even faster just regular hog what was this thing called cave hog and this thing yo it's a little bit faster not by much like a couple like 20 miles or something but uh you know it's cool it's cool that there's an upgrade i guess and we got the final two mounts here from the mechs mount mod with a mechanical mounts mod starting with this one summons a rideable panda this is not what i expected when i heard rideable panda but look we get a builder thing increase a shine mana sickness we can't use potions we can mine withered weapons spelunkers so this what i'm assuming is something that i can actually mine stuff like much like the uh, onyx excavator so let's go test it out all right let's see let's put it in action if it mines or anything uh so far i'm not getting too much here maybe this is a mine cart oh this might be no nah, i feel like it's moving way too fast to be a mine cart so i don't know and finally the last mount the cart future mount summons a rideable legendary cart now the thing is oh my god i thought this was a mine cart that's why i saved it for last but apparently not it's like a kind of hoverboard in a way very interesting the animation is interesting uh we're hitting a nice 60 miles per hour i really thought that this was a mine cart but yeah that that is all of the mechanical mounts mounts kind of weird to say and uh, last but not least for this video 
are we're gonna give some of those water mounts their redemption arc all right here we are at the pp ocean uh because it's the closest so let's go ahead you know let's get the turtle in here nice wow look how fast he moves when he gets to splish splash around in a little puddle next up we got the whale the whale is actually not too bad for exploring the aquatic depths same thing with the tr shrimpy truffle uh aquatic depths and the abyss okay hit a nice little 39 but uh shrimpy truffle Last but not least, the one that deserved the biggest redemption arc very, very fast. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow my Twitter, follow my Twitch, join my Discord, and subscribe to not only this channel, but to my second channel, VOD Raiders 101, where I post my full live streams, pretty much full Terraria playthroughs on there at this point. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave comments where more mounts are from. I got a couple mods. Like, I was originally going to do Spirit Mod in this video too, but it just kept crashing my game because, you know, I'm not playing with two mods 64, so I can't play with like 50 mods at once. And uh, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye bye. I love you guys.